Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will try to explore a generator called light and uh, here what you're seeing is a example file from Substance Painter J Toad. As far as shading is concerned, we try to give a dual tonal uh, effect sometimes like um, in case of oranges or metallic paint or something like that when we do you want that um, dual tone effect so even in tune animation we expect a dual tone effect so if you could able to see here I've got some yellows on uh, the top side generally if I've taken a flat color your base color would look like this and uh, I have added a color which is sort of a lemon yellow and gradually turning it to green which gives that unique uh, shading I would like to show you what exactly uh, this light generator will do so imagine uh, I mean there was a workflow in compositing where normal maps are used and we do um, lighting in the post though they don't generate shadows but to create certain brightness we can we used to rely on normal maps in compositing so that same logic is applied here the generator is going to use a normal map and then gives us this nice uh, shading so let's get started so i would like to take a new layer and then give it a color so i'm going to take a dark maroon color okay and uh, let's delete the layers which are below it so let's delete them so for sake of uh, understanding i just make it rough so that we could able to see the difference also so i've got this maroon color and now i'm going to take another layer which is going to sit on the top and this will be a sort of nice pink color and more vibrant okay this is dark and this is vibrant now this particular layer is going to be masked so I'm masking it and then we are going to add a generator so in this generator I'm going to use this generator called light and then what you are seeing is the light side is the vibrant pink and the shadow side is the dark maroon which we have there so I'll switch to the base color and you should be able to see that okay if this is not there the total image is flat now select that light and you have uh, inverse of it where uh, you're doing the lighting from the low angle sort of thing okay then you got this horizontal angle where the light direction keeps changing like that okay and then we got vertical angle the light direction changes in the vertical side so you can use this slightly facing towards the camera and then you got the glossiness where you can control it like that and highlight level which makes the it's it look more sharp you should able to see that uh, tune rendering effect here right and um, especially when you're uh, doing texturing for the 2d styles i think this should work magic for you okay so keep exploring the the colors so like let's say the bottom color i'm going to take a dark green and then the top one let's take a nice yellow so let me put that to material and uh, this is what we have here so we can increase the scattering of that layers also so that it looks quite so uh, this light generator uh, i have to control them you see that class that's really awesome
even i'm getting that nice rim light effect here that's the beauty of the uh, the post lighting and uh, again i i can try different combinations like i can go for a dark blue dark blue and a vibrant light so here let's pick it more to purple and see that colors awesome 